Hi, Kay Lady here, and I have a special video for you today. You can already see who this is involving. This is Wrigley. Can you say hi, Wrigley? Say hi, don't just look at me. Look at them, say hi. Wrigley is a Cavalier King Charles Spaniel. Oh, his hair is a little messy from my lip gloss. You say hi, Wrigley? Wrigley is six months old. You love me, I know. Wrigley is six months old, and I got him from a breeder in um, by the beach out by me. And the reason I got him as a puppy was because um, I got him for a therapy dog for my son, um, and I wanted to train the dog up from a pup so that they had that bonding experience and um, that he would be able to provide an ultimate experience of a uh, bonding and friendship with um with my son and the reason that i chose the cavalier king charles spaniel is i did a ton of research on dogs for one i, I wanted one that wasn't too big and as you can see wrigley is about 11 pounds he'll probably be up to about 15 pounds um they're known as like the luxury lap dog because they are like the biggest lovers on the planet. They don't have an aggressive bone in their body. They are absolutely sweet as sweet as sweet as can be. I'll play a little video of him with my um, daughter. And um, not only that, um, the amount of shedding is so teeny, teeny, tiny. They have like this really nice hair that doesn't come off in fluffs. And I have white pants, I have black pants on and his white doesn't shed off on me or vice versa. So um, also um, I live in Oregon, so it's wet outside a lot. And when he's out in the rain and comes back in, he doesn't have that stinky wet dog smell. So anyways, those are just some kind of logistics about the breed. Um, but Wrigley here, um, I got him because my son um, was having these little fits when he was overwhelmed or upset and he would kind of just snap out of it and it took something emotionally negative to pull him out. So I wanted something that would be emotionally positive for him. And um, I did a bunch of research on therapy dogs and there's no like set guideline on the kind of training you have to have to um, make a dog a therapy dog. Um, I did basic training for him. Um, just like, you know, like pet smart or unleashed or whatever it's called. Um, but the biggest thing I believe is just to have um, them bond with your child, you know, and when the child's upset to um, make sure you give the child the animal. And um, since I've had Wrigley here, um, my son was having little fits, like emotional fits that kind of like got out of control almost for no reason. Like it would be a tiny little thing to set him off and then he would be beyond reason. Um, and he was probably having those about five days a week. Sometimes he'd have them more than once a day, um, but he would probably have them at least five times a week. And since we've got the dog, we've had the dog for four months and he's had about like one and a half fits. And the reason I say half is because he started having one and the dog just walked by him and he goes, oh, my doggy, and he grabbed him and he cuddled him. And I noticed whenever he's down, he goes and he grabs his dog and whenever he um, is, feeling like he's being rejected by his sisters, maybe they don't want to play with him or something like that, he immediately goes to his dog and he plays with him and he just dotes on him and he pets him. And um, with all the research I've done, there's a ton of um, clinical science proven research that shows that therapy dogs lower blood pressure, improve cardiovascular health, mm, releases endorphins and oxytocin that have a calming effect on your body, diminish overall physical pain. That's why they have um, dogs that go and visit hospitals and um, sick people. Um, the act of petting produces an automatic relaxation, relaxation response, reducing the amount of medications that some folks need. So with mental health, it helps lift the spirits, lessens depression, decreases feelings of isolation and alienation. And I've seen that um, with my son. Provides comfort, increases socialization. Um, I take the dog to school with my son sometimes and he's so excited to introduce him to everybody. He goes up to people he normally wouldn't. I really think um, that that is a totally true um, statement that it increases the socialization, reduces boredom. Um, lowers anxiety, helps children overcome speech and emotional disorders, creates motivation, 
um, to recover faster and reduces loneliness. And um, I have seen all so many of those things um, in my own household um, since we've gotten Wrigley. And Wrigley we've had for four months. He's six months old now. So you can see he's just a huge lover. He's really tired, right? It was so sweet. Um, but I just wanted to share that with you guys because I feel like it's really valid and I just love this breed. Um, and um, I just wanted to share that with you. I just thought it was sweet and awesome. And I'll show some footage of like my little kid, my little baby with the dog and how sweet they are. But yeah, like he's not a hyper little puppy. He's a sweet, sweet, easy, easy trained dog. He's totally potty trained and um, I just read one book on how to do it. So I wanted to share that with you. And Wrigley, you say bye, say bye. Bye. You love your dog. You love your Wrigley. Oh, you love your Wrigley monster. Oh, give him kisses. Mm. Yum, Look yum, at yum, me. Yum. Look at you. You love your doggy, huh? Oh, he's a nice doggy. He even lets you choke him.